happy Thursday and welcome back to a, another daily vlog. So it is Thursday, like I said. It is what time is it? It's 7:58, and I have a um, therapy appointment at 8:30. So we're about to hop in the shower. We just finished our 30 minute workout, as you guys saw. I just had on some super simple to work out today. It's literally this. Uh -oh this um black and white shirt that i pick up i think from either old navy or target i can't remember and then this is an old navy like um body suit workout body suit that i picked up a couple years ago when it was on sale and then i have on my nike uh, not my nike my new balances so that's what i wore just to do some 30 minutes you know get my life together type situation so we're about to hop in the shower um, our plans for the day are number one to finish editing the video for tomorrow because it's going to be long and we don't need to have issues like we did last time and then after Jalen gets out of school we are taking her to get her eyebrows done um, I'm taking her to the same brow lady that I go to so she can get her brows uh, waxed and tinted for the prom on Saturday so I'm doing it today because she can't get them wet for 24 hours so by the time Saturday comes, she should be good to go. So we had to keep that um, timing together. So um, the appointment's today at 440. So we'll most likely leave the house probably as soon as she gets out of school, get off the bus, you know, pick her up, let her go, throw her little things down, whatever. And then we'll um, look into taking off to do that and we'll probably get something to eat while we're out that part. But any the that's what's going on right now, but let me jump in the shower uh, and brush my teeth and wash my face and look like somebody before this appointment. <laughs> and then we need to figure out what we're going to wear today. It's a super gloomy, like, ugly day, but it's not supposed to rain on prom day, so I haven't remembered if I checked the weather lately, but it's supposed to be cleared up, I think, tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, unless the weather has changed, because you know it can change, and so, you know. You know how weather does. So let's see what we're looking like. Hopefully it hasn't. I would hate for her to go to the prom like super soaking wet. Like with rain. So let's pray that this weather is getting it together. Okay, so it's super sunny tomorrow. 40% chance of rain is today. I mean 20% chance of rain tomorrow. Sunny. It's mostly sunny on Saturday. The high is 78. And there's zero chance of rain. So that's great. So it won't rain again until Monday. And then uh, thunderstorms and stuff next Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's good. It clears up for her prom. Perfect. But anywho, let's get in the shower and I will check on you guys in a minute. Alright you guys, so we are out of our meeting, so I had my therapy appointment today on a Thursday because she was booked, or she's off tomorrow or something, anyway, we had therapy this morning, talked about a couple of things, had a couple of rafts, not as emotional as last week, but she still got me thinking about stuff that's going on at the moment, um, so yeah, that part. Uh, what time is it? It is 1037. Time is getting away from me. Like, I feel like I just woke up and it was 7 o'clock and we're already at 11 o'clock. Like, I haven't edited anything. I have All I did was exercise and take a shower and go to therapy and have a meeting. Like, I feel like I've done nothing for that amount of time. But I guess therapy was an hour. My meeting was an hour. 30 minute walk. So what's that, like two and a half hours? So maybe, okay, maybe I did do something, but still, I feel like I'm behind in life <laughs> at the moment. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get our lives together. Somebody asked me what I was putting on my eye. This is an ITK Soothing Under Eye Stick. It illuminates and hydrates under the eye, but I put it like all the way around my eye because I'm that person. It looks like this. I want to say you can get this at Target or Walmart, but Alicia actually gave me these. I was looking for some new face products, and so she's been giving me like some samples that she gets for me to try out and see how I like it. Um, 
for me, my eyes are just squinty anyway. So I'm going to have smile lines and all that kind of stuff. That's not what I'm wor really worried about. And as far as bags, I don't really have bad bags. The only time I do is if I don't get a sufficient amount of sleep. So that could impact that, but I'm not really worried about it. I don't really worry about wrinkles and stuff. Everybody gets old and everybody gets wrinkles. So I'm not like obsessing over it, but I will do, you know, what I need to do to have nice skin. And aging is just going to come with aging. So I don't really worry about that too much. But I do do what I can, you know. within a reasonable like I'm not gonna have 7,890 steps but I will do a skincare routine if that makes sense all right that's good and then I have to put on my sunscreen. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Hopefully, we won't be leaving the house too much today, anyway. Alright, I just put on my primer because I do plan on putting on makeup today. So, got that together. Y'all have such sensitive eyes, like, if anything resonates, any kind of perfume or odor, my eyes will catch it whether I put it on my eyes or not. Like, it's crazy. And then they'll start, like, burning and stuff, so, I gotta do better about that. But we'll just let that sit in for a bit, and we will work on getting our lives together so let's see what i'm gonna put on today i don't have a clue the sun looks like it's out what's the weather i think i checked it but like i don't know where the weather is going to be today let's turn off of our lamps and see let's see what we're looking like with the sunshine today the sun is not all the way out let's see if we turn the light out in my bedroom okay it's a little something something here but not as bright as it usually is so the high today is 66 and it's 40 percent chance of rain um so yeah so it's gonna start raining at so it's gonna be like moderate rain like 70 five percent chance of rain when we get ready to leave to take Jalen to get her eyebrows done but we gotta do it today today's our only day to do it so we just gonna be out in the rain y'all we just gonna be out in the rain y'all so let's decide what we wanna put on today we won't put it on today um definitely want to put on a pair of jeans for sure for sure for sure i'm still on the hunt for jeans with no holes in them like all my jeans all my jeans got rips in them y'all i'm on the hunt for some jeans with no rips in them that's what i'm on the hunt for i actually have a pair but they're in the dirty clothes it doesn't help me any at all so we're just gonna wear these right here by amber combry these are the like side button where it's like cricket and they're more of a like acid wash type situation so we're gonna put those on today and i need to start hunting for my new bras because i'll need to order some soon and so i need to figure out what I want to try. I think I'm going to order from a couple of different companies and see which ones are the best. I told you I was looking for more like girly bras that match with the ones that I have now. But the company that sells them, I think they're just, I mean, they're expensive. But I should be like, 
you know they cute though. They probably will last you a very long time, Kyosha. Why you talking about they expensive? But still, I can't fork it over. <laughs> Not at this moment. Um, uh, but I might just end up doing it anyway. I have to check the site to see if I see anything else. So I'm trying to decide what I want to put on. I feel like I want to put on a sweatshirt or a sweater. I feel like we should just be blue today. Let's just do an oversized blue shirt. Can't fail. Can't go wrong with that. So we'll just throw that on right quick. My bra selection is absolutely ridiculous. Got to do something about that ASAP and my slot socks collection. Like the only thing that's together right now is my underwear. I need to revamp all of this immediately. <laughs> so let's get my shirt on. And I'll be right back. Guys, I'm dressed and I'm about to do my makeup real quick. I'm starving. I think I am going to treat myself and run out for lunch. Don't know what time my meeting is, but hopefully I have time to run out for lunch today. It's 11 o'clock now, so if I get dressed and out by 12, I think I should have plenty of time. So we're going to do this quickly and efficiently. But anyway, uh, let us pray that <laughs> we have enough time to do this. Um, I did put on the acid wash jeans that I told you that fold over. I hate how they look. I'm getting rid of them. And then I have a second pair that I have on right now. And I'm kind of thinking I don't like the actual wash jean look. Like it's not for me. Just give me some regular old good blue colors and stuff. I don't think I like the actual wash look. I'm going to wear these today and see how I feel. If I don't like them, they're also going to the giveaway pile as well. So we are not keeping anything that I don't wear. And I have not reached for these in a very long time so I'm thinking it's a negative because every time I pull them out I feel like it doesn't go with my aesthetic like yes yeah, blue on blue but the actual white blue is like a particular blue I feel like you can only wear like white with it like maybe if I had a white button down instead of this blue one it would look better and I don't know if I like it or not but we're still going to wear them because I need to see if I like them if I go through today and I'm like Ugh, um I'm not going to do it. So if you guys notice on my Instagram, I am trying to put my outfit of the days, what I'm wearing. So I'm still going to put this on. I'm still going to do the outfit of the day of what I had on for you guys. Because that's what I promised. But you may not see these again after today. Um, I need to get some more Urban All Nighter. I know it's the for Sephora sale. So I might go in there and see what I can get. I don't know how long it's supposed to last. I might have missed it, y'all. I don't know. Y'all know I don't do a lot of shopping. For real. Usually when I'm Sephora, I'm in there with Alicia. And she's telling me what to get. I don't really. Unless I'm getting something I've already had before. I'm not trying anything too much that's new. I'm on call. So I'm supposed to be like helping people do stuff. And yesterday was so crazy. Like I didn't even get a lunch. Like they scheduled my day up so bad yesterday. It was absolutely ridiculous and i told my manager i said they trying to pull one of your numbers well you don't be eating no lunch i said i can't be doing this mess mm -mm, no sorry bobby i need my food mm -mm. there's that <clears throat> y'all don't know if i'm getting allergies or what in my old age but i'm like sneezing and freaking having runny noses and stuff it can't be nothing but allergies because i don't know what else it could be i don't have a cold um that's for sure but what's, what's really going on what's really the tea <laughs> when it comes to that out i'm like why are we having all of these issues uh what's going on there's this girl on youtube and I don't think she uses foundation. I think she uses tinted moisturizer. I want to say I tried a tinted moisturizer for like the summer. I think even Alicia says she uses a tinted moisturizer sometimes. I have yet to find one like in my color scheme. If y'all know some good ones, let me know. I think I want to do for the summer. Because sometimes even this powder, I mean this concealer in the summertime is a little too heavy. And it'll still sweat and move all over my face. And that's just because I'm clearly not using the best products. But 
I'm not a maker guru, so I'm not spending a thousand million dollars because it would expire before I even use it up. So I'm not trying to spend that much money because I don't do enough to be talking about some, you know, wearing it. And I want to get to the point where I do put on like maybe a tinted moisturizer every day just to even out my skin tone. But I don't want to do like a full face of anything every single day. Like that's just not who I am and I don't want to do it. So that part with this makeup situation because you guys always say oh you look so nice and enhanced like y'all don't say i be ugly without makeup but y'all be like oh you look so good when you have on makeup on and i'll be like why y'all gotta do me like that <laughs> i know y'all don't mean it that way but you know maybe i need to be looking like somebody every other day let's get this little pimple here get on my nerves y'all get on my nerves I oh, hate that time I'm going to just break out like a psychopath. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right. And then we're not going to prime our lashes today. I don't feel like it. And I think I'm almost out anyway. So we're just going to go straight to the mascara. Y'all, when I say these braids about to come in clutch for the next couple of weeks, they're coming in clutch. Oh my God, y'all. Oh shit. I just realized next weekend Alicia's having something in her house and it's themed. And I don't even have. We have to have a kimono. I don't have a kimono. I completely forgot about that. I hope they have some on, on Amazon. Like I pray. And it looks decent. Like because I don't want just any old kimono. Because I'll return that bitch if it's ugly. I'm going to tell you that now. Like, I'll wear it for the thing. But if I don't like it, I'm not keeping it. Like, her theme. Like, the pictures she sent out for the theme are absolutely stunning. But, yeah. I don't have a kimono. And I wanted certain colors. I completely forgot about it. That's my fault. But... I'm not going to miss this event, baby. I'm going to tell you that now. I'm not going to miss it. Because it's definitely something I've been wanting to do. I'll tell you guys what it is when we get there. That part. But it's something I definitely wanted, always wanted to do. So I'm not going to miss it. So we're getting something. Somewhere to do something. I need a new thing. This thing is kind of like dirty, pretty. Like I said, we're doing minimal makeup today. I might just do highlight. We might not even do no blush. Yes, let's put our stuff back. Clean up our area. I love how easy it is to clean up everything since my makeup. Oh no. Since my makeup is so minimal. And I literally use the same thing over and over again. Like... Everything in this little container is all the makeup that I have. Like lipsticks, liners, mascara. And then I have like down here my blush and my powder. And then these are all the brushes I own. That's it. No more other brushes. Like I downsized, I downsized significantly because there was no reason for me to have all this. Alright, so let's get into showing you guys my outfit of the day. First, I need to record it for my reel. And then I will record it for you guys. And then we're getting out here because we are going to lunch today. And I'll see them after lunch. That part. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's the full outfit of the day. I did bring my mirror in here because I was trying to get the content in my office. But my office is like really small. Can't wait till I <laughs> size my office up to another room. But this is what the look came out looking like. So like I said, we got on the blue shirt. Astros wash jeans that I'm still not sure about and then we got on my Pumas and then we got our London phone bag and so that took forever so it's literally 12 o'clock now. So I gotta go ahead and get out of here if I'm gonna pick up some lunch at my favorite spot and then we might run to Target because it's a Target circle sale this week and they saw a couple of little things that I might want to pick up so we'll just have to see when we get into the store but I will check in with you guys later. Deuces. Alright you guys so we're in the car and we are headed out to get something to eat um i did want to go by target or whatever but i might just not go um so it looks like it's been a storm and everything i hit child it look a whole mess but we might just go 
and eat and chill for my little hour and then come home and then you know like I said we're taking Jay to get our eyebrows done it's an evening this is the first time she's ever had her eyebrows done I believe I think she got them done when she used to have her hair cut real short I think she got them done then and they just used a razor because it was at a barbershop but I don't think she's ever got them waxed so it's going to be an experience she's going to be like probably like ooh that hurt uh, <laughs> so she'll get them waxed and then filled in and tinted um, so that'll be great and then she did figure out the makeup that she wanted or the eye look makeup is going to be super simple but the eye is going to be a statement eye I think it's going to be look absolutely stunning but she picked out and then her nail situation so as like I said we may just take her somewhere to get her nails done I can do her feet like feet are no big deal but her nails we need to tell her take her somewhere to get her nails done um, she wanted to try them at home and we can maybe tonight and hopefully it won't look a mess but we're gonna try it out tonight and see um, what they're gonna look like because we don't want to have you know jacked up nails with a cute dress you know what I'm saying but then she also works at McDonald's so they can't really have long nails and Jalen sometimes like really long nails for certain stuff um, not every day but I don't want to put long nails on her and then they be like you gotta take them off and we did all that work need to wait and she said she wanted to practice tonight but I don't know what kind of practices you want to do so we're gonna to have to see uh, especially if she's going to work on Friday and or whatnot so that part Benny Hoosie that's what's going on let's get food I'm about to Alright you guys, we finished lunch and I was listening to the audiobook trying to get it finished. I mean it might be interesting. Maybe I was just in a bad mood last week. Who knows? But anyway. Just, oh no, okay. Um but it is 106. We have like a few minutes to go run and do an errand right quick. I wanted to go to rack room and try these shoes on to see what size I wear in a men's um <coughs> size because you guys know I love the Pumas that I have on today and I need a black and white pair of course to mimic the Nike uh, Jordan black and white pair um, and I think I'm going to get rid of my two Converse dupes I'm not sure yet I may pack them up for the summer and just kind of wear these and see how I miss them do I reach for them I feel like since I got these I have not been reaching for them so there's no use for me to have them um, take up room in my closets or whatnot thanks a lot jerk I appreciate you you, you gonna be a jerk too you just not gonna let me go Jesus if you let me go you wouldn't have to wait dummy I'm sick of folks anyway I apologize road rage is my thing <laughs> Um, but I feel like I haven't been reaching for them. I did get my money's worth for them because y'all know I only paid like $30 for them. I think each. And I've definitely worn them more than 30 times. I've actually had them since before Alexander's been born. Because I think I bought them when we went to Alicia's baby shower in Florida. Which was, he's about to be two. So he wasn't even born yet. So almost three years ago in August. So I've got my money worth out of them. They're actually really still good. So I could just donate them to the thrift store somebody get a good pair of shoes for sure um so i'm trying to think on that but it just depends on these shoes when i try them on so i think i'm gonna go over there i do remember we need to get Jalen some type of shapewear i mean she's straight up and down but you know you want everything to be smooth and nice in the dress so we need to go also to jc penny because i think alicia told me there was some good skims dupes 
um, there. I need to look it up. She couldn't remember the name of the brand, so I need to look it up. And we might go there to JCPenney after her brow appointment. Stop by there and go to get her a pair of, um, she just really needs the shorts. Like the ones that you pull up, maybe a pair of underwear. I'm thinking just the nice short ones that just, you know, slims all the way up just to get her a little bit more snatched. I mean, the girl ain't but this big, but you know, you still got to smooth and do everything. She still got to badonka donk like a mama. Um, so just smooth everything out and just make sure when she walks, it's smooth and doesn't get snagged and all that kind of stuff. Y'all know what I was talking about. You, the girly things. And so that's what we need to do. Luckily, she doesn't need a bra because of the way the dress is with the tie in the back. You can pull it and it got bone in it so she'll be good on that front um <clears throat> what else um she already has her shoes it's not supposed to be raining but she will have to hold the bottom of her dress because it will drag on the ground so i have to remind her she's gonna have to pick up her dress in the back because it's like a fishtail in the back she'll have to pick it up because her shoes are not that high Jayla cannot walk in high heels so her shoes are like 2.5 like a mama's um, like she can wear in like you've seen her wear those like boots but they're like stacked they're not like heel heels and they're not like skinny stiletto heels like she can't walk in those um, so <clears throat> you know she's not a typical teenager I guess since I don't walk in stilettos she don't walk in stilettos I feel like if I was a stiletto mom she would be a stiletto girl but she, it, we, we, we clearly neither one of us are those, those people so that's where that is um, and then it's so funny she was asking me today who all was coming over for um oh thanks a lot jerk who all was coming over to watch her get ready it's only like three or four people like we're not gonna have a mass amount of people over there trying to see the girl get ready uh but we will do some so i do think i'm gonna order like maybe a, a tray of green acre chicken with some fries so everybody who do come over will have something to eat on nibble on or whatnot and get a couple of drinks you know um i don't even know what time i should tell everybody to come over i think she has to be there at 6 30 to get ready for the senior walkout and it's like almost an hour from our house where it is i told you we live out in the sticks baby so there are no nice per se venues out where we are so it's, i was not surprised that it would be far from my house i really thought it would be in birmingham but they're not having it in birmingham i'm not going to tell you where because then you might figure out where i live but they're not having it in birmingham they're having it somewhere else so the the drive to birmingham probably would have been like 30 40 minutes but i think this place is about to, almost an hour out or something i need to put in the address and find exactly how far away it is so i'll know what time she needs to leave the house to be there at 6 30. um her dad is supposed to take her but he is habitually late and if he doesn't make it in time we are leaving without him like she will get in this little nissan center back in the back i act like i'm the chauffeur i wear all black put my little black cap on and i act like i'm the chauffeur for the night and that's completely fine with me because i was planning on taking her anyway but he jumped in and said he won't do boop 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 and woo 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 so he needs to be on time he's such a habitual like habitually late like it's freaking ridiculous um and that part so if he's not there on time then he getting left and then i have no apologies whatsoever about it so that's what's going on so let's run over here to this little shoe store right quick and we'll do that and then we will head our butts home because we have a meeting at two and then i have another meeting at three that i possibly need to be on but if i can't be on it my manager can cover for me for it um so yeah, that part. Benny Newsy, that's what we're doing. So let's go and check some things out.
we are headed back to the house. It is 1.46, so we'll probably have to take part of our meeting in the car and the rest when we get in the house. Um, I shouldn't have to do anything on the computer, so it doesn't matter. No way. Um, but then we went to Rack Room because, like I said, I was looking for those shoes. So, I have confirmed that I do wear a seven and a half in kids or men's, whichever, depending on what store you go to, seven and a half is a kid size or it could be a men's size. But the problem, I think, with Rack Room for these Pumas, they don't sell them in a, I think they stop at a seven and then it jumps to an eight in men's. I did try on the eights. I feel like they will be a little too big. So I was going to go on their website and see if they have a seven and a half. And the only reason why I want to get them from Rack Room is because it's buy one, get one 50% off. Why, why, why pay full price? Because um, I know they have them on the Puma website, but they still may not have seven and a half. So I have to do some research to see. The seven fit, but you know how when you walk around your feet swell? My feet would swell for sure. And um, especially if you walk in long periods or doing whatever, um, I need to have a little room in the front. Like they touch the front. But they're not like up into the front where you know they're too little. They fit just right. But just right. You always need your sneakers to be a little bit bigger to take into account. Walking around, swelling, all that type of things when you get older, younger, whomever. Everybody feet swell. Especially if you do a lot of walking or whatever. It's just inevitable. And so they were cute. They were exactly what I thought they would be. Um, a good dupe for the Jordans, like I was saying. Um, but I need a 7.5. If I, they don't have a 7.5, I'm just going to get the men's 8. We're just going to have to wear thick socks that part. Cause I'm about to get some shoes, okay? I'm about to get some. But yeah, but we're headed back to the house to take our little meeting, child, or whatnot. Um, yeah, I tried to get some clips for my Instagram story, my Instagram reels of me trying on the shoes. I did not have the camera angled correctly, so I only got half of my ass trying on the shoes. <sighs> Content creator issues. <laughs> so yeah, that part. But anyway, um. I'm just trying to get clips to kind of be like, this is my day, this is what I did, or whatever. You know how y'all do. How Well, how I'm going to try to do. Y'all do, do it much weller than I do if you're a content creator. I've seen a lot of content creators do a lot better than me. I'm going to get it one day, but, you know, Instagram is not my forte at all. At By no means, okay? By no means at all is it my forte. Um, I'm much better in the YouTube space, even though I guess my subscribers don't reflect that either. <laughs> I think I'm good. Whatever. Any easy. I'm just rambling. Let's get back to the house. Let's continue listening to this auto book. And I will check in with you guys. Probably after my meeting or maybe even after work's over. Might be when we're on the way to take Jalen and get her eyebrows done, child. That's probably what it's going to be. Because I got a lot to do from 2 to 4 um, when it comes to work. But I got to get done in the system and ready to go. So, that part. Let me go out first. I can open the door. Oh, yeah. So, I can come out. Let's go. Let's go. All right, you guys. Eyebrows are done. She really looking like her mom and Alice is me. <laughs> Look at them brows. Look at them brows. <laughs> Look at them things. Side by side comparison. Oh, mine total. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get mine done in this month. <laughs> but anyway, so that's uh, not too long. It's 522. Mm hmm. So she got them done. Look at them. So pretty. Now she gonna be addicted to get her eyebrow done, y'all. Yeah. Oh uh, Lord. Mm -hmm. So she can't get them wet for 24 hours. So that's why we went ahead and got it done now. Mm -hmm. About to go to J.C. Penney's and get the the undergarments. Mm-hmm. 
so she can be snizzatched, <laughs> as they like to call it, in the younger days, the snizzatched. And then we're going to find something to eat. Because I haven't eaten since lunch. Who's that? That part. Neither of you. That's all I eat lunch at school. I said I haven't eaten since lunch. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> We finna go to the hood ghetto, uh, J.C. Penny over here in, the, in Hoover. <laughs> Y'all know uh, the Galleria don't turn into the hood to the hood mall now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Why did J.C. Penny seven hundred thousand dollars later? <laughs> the lady was like, like the lady was nice. I found me a new fragrance, you guys. The Oscar De La Renta Bella Rose. Why y'all ain't tell me? Or did y'all not know? Did y'all not tell me? Or did y'all not know? I need y'all to say y'all didn't know. But if you don't know, now you know. My God. My God, even yeah, Jalen loves it. It smells so good. It like, smells so oh good. Oh my gosh, I keep smelling. No. <laughs> and I got the set because the set was like, I mean, it was about the price of the. I think the actual big size, the little size was ninety, and then the big size was like one twelve. But the set, you get the small size, a travel size. And a lotion, I think, or something. She wrapped it up nice. So I have to show you guys when we get home. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was so good. And then Jalen got 9,999 things. I did not. I only got a couple of things. She brought your stuff up first. Mm -hmm. So we have to add your stuff up, Brokey Broke Olo. Also, I got a little Ariana Grande, uh, one of her fragrances. It's called Cloud. Try. It's called Cloud. It's like a blue cloud. I haven't smelled it because they didn't have any like on display. I hope she like it. She um, be taking chances, baby. I do take chances. She be taking chances. She don't like it. She better give it away. <laughs> that part. She better give away. I'm just gonna wear it. But anyway, I'm gonna wear it to the okay. gold. Get your money's worth, am I? Mm -hmm. That's your money's worth. You pay me back. It ain't my money's worth. You right. And your shit immediately. Right. <laughs> be like, uh, 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 uh. Transfer <laughs> funds. <laughs> you got calculated out. Transfer funds, please. Broke your brokey. Girl, I'm about to get paid like $2 tomorrow. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, she was out of town, y'all. Y'all know she was out for a whole week. Right. And then she only worked like two days. Yeah. Three days. Right. Two days before the. I don't know when they pay period. Who knows how much this check gonna be. But anyway, she's right. gonna be $5. It's <laughs> gonna be like $2. But we gotta it. find something to eat. What's over here? Mm, I saw like a, I don't know. I saw Chick Fil A, but that was about it. Chick Fil A is so expensive. It is. It's like on it. It's so expensive. We just spent nine thousand dollars. Why not spend ten thousand more? Huh? <laughs> that part. Let's find food. Probably go Chick Fil A, like Jalen said, even though it costs nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars. <sighs> That's most likely where we're gonna go. I'm tired of eating the same shit over and over again. You know how you eat out so much, you just be like, I don't want nothing. Right. I'm going to start cooking more. I don't want to do that either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to eat out. Don't want to cook. Just saying. Just, just, just pitiful. pitiful. Just ridiculous. And then why is tomorrow Friday? Why do they? I feel like today is Friday. Uh, today is. Like, I hate when, like, Thursdays are like that because it be feeling like a Friday. It felt like that last week. Yeah, it did. I'm like, I've been feeling like that for a minute. I'm going to need Thursday to stop doing that. Be giving my hopes up. <laughs> okay, so I was like, ooh, tomorrow Saturday. I was like, no, the hell it ain't. It is oh, not. Ma'am, it, it is Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> tomorrow is Friday. Over it. Bye, y'all. I'm finna call Alicia and ask her, did she know about this Bella Rose? <laughs> you really finna call I am. Cause she supposed to be helping me find new perfume, and she ain't said nothing. If you're watching this and you didn't know, I apologize now. But until I find out, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, girl, you crazy. Anyway, we'll be back. It's a million dollar Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. And uh, we about to head home. We're going to spend enough damn money. Yeah. That part. <laughs> and another die until tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. Because I still got to go. So tomorrow, while Jada's in school, me and my niece, who's a. She used to be a licensed makeup artist, but I don't think she ever got it renewed. But she went to like cosmetology school and stuff and did makeup, so she cool with that. Uh, we got to go get Jayla's makeup because she showed us like a blue eye look that she wants. It's going to be absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to go get the, the eyeshadow for her child. She was like, oh, I'm like, girl, I'll pick you up. No, I'm not <laughs> nothing. So we need to get that. And then Jayla wants like a low bun. 
for her style look it's gonna look absolutely stunning with that it's gonna be like an elegant look so she want a low bun with um so we need to get like the hair bigger hair ties than we need to get because she got a lot of hair on her head uh -huh. well actually not a lot it's long um so she has she needs hair ties and she needs like the big bobby pins so we gotta go and get that tomorrow i'm actually off work tomorrow i forgot about it i was off work tomorrow i'm off tomorrow but i have one meeting that i do have to go to so we're just gonna go to work to go to the meeting and then after that don't look for me don't call me don't text me <laughs> don't write okay we off um so yeah and i thought about not taking off and then i was like yeah i got plenty of pto this is gonna be off we get that part so i don't have nothing to do tomorrow but that little bit but it'll be nice to not be bothered with nobody at work so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> they can bother me until matter of fact i think i'm gonna be off for the after that meeting i'm not gonna say i have the whole day off i'm just gonna like block my schedule and say i'm off after this time i think that's what i'm gonna do because if i work up until after the meeting then i only have to work four hours and then i don't have to take pto so guess what we're gonna work four hours tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna get up at the crack and by the time that meeting over it's gonna be four hours of work that had went on that part because i actually have to build some um some eaps for this new project I got started so that I can do that in the morning and get that going so yeah but when I get home I gotta start editing the vlog for tomorrow because I need to have it done tonight and rest to go or at least all the way edit it and maybe add music in the morning but it's, I know it's gonna be over an hour so it takes like 30 minutes to download and it takes like two hours to upload like I really need to upgrade my internet but it's expensive I already paid 84 86 dollars and I ain't got nothing but the internet if I go up to fast speed, I'm going to be paying $150 for internet only. There's no cable. There's no phone attached to it. It's ridiculous. Adulted is shit. Let me have my strawberry. Mm -hmm. A million quadrillion dollars. <laughs> it's a million quadrillion dollars. Mm -hmm. Y'all, Alicia went out of town. I'm sick of her. We supposed to get together and she canceled on me. Hey, how they gonna fill yours up more than mine? I'm, I'm having best friend withdrawals if you watch this leave. I'm having best friend withdrawals. But we'll see each other next Saturday. But that's too long. It's been like three weeks. <laughs> I ain't seen her since before we went to New York. That's a long time. Well, you we did FaceTime. But Alex stuck his face in there the whole time. So <laughs> mm -hmm. it was really like I was something like talking to Alicia, but FaceTiming with Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alexander. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna talk about her later. Yeah, I know how to do. I'll send her a message out. You can't go out of town no more. <laughs> anyway, I think she had to go to a wedding. So. Let me get my life. Mm -hmm. They didn't send a message back whether we going to meet or not. So, I guess she on her way home, so maybe she's going to meet after. I don't know. Oh, these fries are hot. They nice. Yeah, it's hot and crispy. And salty. And crispy and salty and fresh. Mm -hmm. We don't like that soggy stuff. Right. Well, let's just McDonald's. This, this, not, not like soggy soggy, just a little bit soggy. No. That's a negative. Mm. I only like McDonald's fries. Nice, fresh, and hot. Them shoes freaking fried be nasty when they get soggy. Mm. Whew. It's good though. Mm -hmm. The sun is coming out. No more rain. Yay! Mm. I'm here for it. It was literally like that it's one. It's coming out and going down at the same time. It was literally like that when I was at school. We were sitting outside in the lunchroom. It was sunny. Then boom, the, the clouds came back. And it's all right. Y'all can sit outside for what? No, we don't sit outside. No, uh, well, especially like on rainy days. Like during the summer, we sit outside. What's y'all got? Picnic tables out there, though? Yeah, I'm always seniors can sit outside, though. Um. Back from JC Penny. And, um, so the things I got were this um color stay matte lip crayon by revlon in the color ruffle ruffled feathers and this is what it looks like this is absolutely gorgeous nice matte color so i do like that i just tried it on um and then i got an elf matte magic setting spray and then for free for a gift for spending what we spent i got bergamot and rose so, Sauvage by 100% by 100 Bond. I don't know who that is, but it was free. And I got the, like I said, Bergamot and Rose. So it smells like a very nice, clean, fresh scent. It reminds me of like a fresh, clean bathroom or something. 
I know that sounds weird, but I absolutely love it. And I think it's the bergamot that I love the most. Because I love the smell of bergamot for some reason. I'm very odd when it comes to the, to the scents that I like. I don't like anything that smells spicy or uh, fruity. or I know y'all are tired of me saying that, but still. And then the star of the show is the Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. Uh, so this set normally costs $112. It's on sale at Macy's for $69.60 for the same exact set. So if they won't price match, um, go to Macy's and order it online um, because it is cheaper. Don't pay $112 for it. Don't do it. Um, that part. So yeah, so in the set you get, um, what is it? I'll tell you what the sizes are in a minute. So you will get a beautiful bottle that is 3.4 fluid ounces. It looks like this. Absolutely stunning. Do you see that? I'm not even a girly girl when it comes to perfume bottles, but I love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and will be beautiful on anybody's nightstand or wherever you put your perfumes. And then you also get a lotion, which is also 3.4 ounces. So good for travel. And then they also give you a travel stick that is, how many ounces is this one? The travel is 0.5 fluid ounces. Um, so a nice travel thing. I can keep this in my car along with this one because I don't have a lot of, sometimes I forget to put on perfume and then I'd be mad. And then I'm like, dang, I need to keep some in my car. So now I have earrings in my car. Now I'm going to have perfume in my car. And I'm going to eventually redo my car and have like a little set. But yeah, so make sure you don't pay full price for this because of that part. So I'll tell you the notes in this one because I was looking it up and trying to figure out what it was. Um, and it literally told me. So the notes are pink pepper, but you can't smell the pepper or it's not overwhelming you smell like pepper. Frieza? Frieza? I don't know what that. Mandarin orange, which is funny. I smell no orange whatsoever because y'all already know. I'm not the one so it's not a lot of orange and then the middle notes are pink rose jasmine and oris don't know what oris is and then the base notes are patchouli amber and sandalwood i don't smell mandarin like literally i don't smell mandarin so let's spray a little bit i'm gonna see if i can smell it now i'm pretty good with like sweet smells so for me, I smell the sandalwood, the pink rose, and the jasmine. I don't really smell mandarin. I smell a hint of pepper now that I now that I sprayed it. But I feel like everything else works so good together that it like masks stuff. But I told you guys I have a really keen nose. And so for me, it's absolutely, it smells so good, y'all. I was smelling in the store for like 50 minutes. Like I had on the little piece of paper and I just kept smelling. It just smells absolutely so good. Let me know if you guys love the Asta de la Renta Bella Rose. It's my first time learning about it. I'm just a perf I'm just new to perfume. So if you knew about it, you knew about it. But now I know about it too. So I'm happy for me. I'm happy for me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get my life together. Right quick, I'm going to put my new found purchases up in their respective places. We're not going to keep the box, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, and then we're going to put this with the perfumes, my sample in this one. And then we'll put our lotions with the lotions. And then my travel ones I'll eventually take out to my car. Hopefully I can take them out tomorrow, I won't forget. And now the notes on this bergamot and rose, it's probably bergamot and rose, but they used to put the notes on the actual things but they don't really do that anymore for some reason okay it it says the top notes are lemon lemon verbena i love lemon verbena that's why i love it i used to have a lemon verbena candle so good nice and fresh and that's exactly what i smell here heart notes are cherry blossom and gr granatham i think that's how you pronounce it R rose and then the base is vanilla funny Funny. I don't smell vanilla. I don't smell vanilla. 
I smell the granatum. Definitely that. I don't even smell notes of lemon either. That's funny. It's funny that some of the perfumes that I, I like have vanilla in it, but it's like very light vanilla. Like it's something that I can't even detect and that's what I like. So there's that. I've been talking for 2,900 minutes. So I will check in with you guys later. All right, you guys, so we're back. It's almost 10 o'clock and I have finished washing my face and my face is shiny like a Crisco oil baby. <laughs> Got all the moisture that's gonna soak in tonight and plump up my my youthful skin here. Um, I am finished with my nighttime routine. So we have our pajamas on. We did a little tidying up of the room. So the bed and stuff is all clear. I put clothes away, dirty clothes in there and all that kind of stuff. We are going to maybe watch a show. It might start watching us because you know how I do. I'll fall asleep in like five minutes, especially after I've wind down for the night. Like it's easy for me to go to sleep when I'm tired and had a full day. And that is today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog. I'm so excited for you guys to see the next one because the next one will be prom and i'm so excited you guys i can't wait for you guys to see i can't wait for me to see because i haven't seen yet at the filming of this vlog so if you want to see that make sure you give these videos a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for friday's video deuces